Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are down in a crawl space where we are digging out for a sump basin and sump pump. This crawl space tends to flood pretty dramatically during some heavy rains, and we need to correct that problem. Okay, common with digging a sump pit in a crawl space in an older home, you do find tree roots down here. And it's a real pain because you don't have a lot of headroom to swing an ax, so you've got to chop it with your shovel. And this is not that hard to do. Just believe you can do it and you'll get through it. Sorry the camera's moving all around, but you can see I chopped through that side right there. I'm gonna put the camera back up. Probably the hardest thing about digging in a crawl space is actually moving the buckets of dirt because there's such little room and it, it is difficult to move the buckets. They are heavy and you have to have a helper for that. Well, you don't have to, but I'd recommend you have a helper. I don't know if anybody's been counting, but what? I believe that's about uh, either 14 barrels or 14 buckets so far. Still have, we're about two thirds of the way down the pit, so we still have quite a bit more to take out. But it goes pretty quick. Now I'm going to let Super Digger take over. He's such a good worker. He's fast, clean, he smiles all the time. Here's that root that we cut. Again, if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Just take this little spot out here, and we will let Super Digger take over. <laughs> hey, Chuck. Let's toss that pit down here. Yeah. two-thirds of the way like I said and I've cleaned it down I'm gonna let Chuck take over and he'll finish this up for us real quick two men working make this job go quite quickly the actual time to dig the pit was probably about an hour and a half to two hours um, you can see we've speeded the video up but it goes quite quick with two guys. It's got a fitting here. It's 
build in. This is the discharge. We're going to put an inch and a half male adapter down into this and screw it on. Next, we've already pre-cut a piece of pipe. Basically what we want to do is get it above this bar. This is the float that makes the pump kick on and off as water rises in the pit, lifts up the float, drops it down, turns it off. So we're going to go ahead and glue this piece on here. This is just a standard PVC cement and it sets up pretty quick once you apply it. Good amount of glue around your pipe, stick it into the fitting, push down and hold it because it tries to pop back out. Just a couple seconds, that does it. Next we're putting a check valve on and the check valve only allows water to flow one way and <laughs> you can see these arrows on here bring that camera in just a bit you can see these arrows on the sump pump they are pointing upward and that's going to be the direction of water the water flow from the pump so go ahead and set your no hub on here and they've got these nifty little bands that you can just tighten right up you can use a screwdriver or you can use a drill with a 5 16 inch bit to tighten this up. You want to make them nice and tight, real secure so that you can't pull that apart. Now basically we're ready to set this down into the pit and continue to plumb up from the bottom of the pit and we're going to drill through the foundation wall where it will discharge. Okay, so we're ready to install our pit. But we are putting a small piece of footer tile on it right over here, so we're going to cut this little knockout off. Just take your hacksaw and cut right through it. Simple as that. Now we're ready to set the pin in place. This hole is going to set over here by where we've trenched along the footer. perfect fit. You can see there's the pit and here's the opening for the footer tile and there's where we've trenched just a small section because it's really been flooding right here. We want to bring that water into the sump pit and the sump pump will lift it out and then we're going to drill right through that wall. Okay so we're ready to plumb our sump pump down into the pit and first we're just going to put it in to make the measurement of where things are sitting. So we'll set the pump down in the pit Next, we're just going to stick a piece of pipe on here on the check valve, which I'm going to have to cut to leave. But basically, what we want to do is we want to come up from the sump pump through the check valve, and we're going to put a 90 on it right here. We're going to put a 90 right here, and then we're just going to go right through that wall to the outside. So basically when you make your measurement, let's just say we want to go right through that particular piece of uh, brick right here. You can see that we're going to have to make a cut somewhere about right here where we put our 90 on here. So mark it with your thumb, take your hacksaw, put a mark on it. Now we're ready to cut this good hacksaw, piece of PVC. Wiggles a little bit, but... right through there. So now all we have to do is <coughs> tighten up this clamp from our no hut from our check valve and put the lid on and this pit is pretty much done. We'll also come over here and put a footer tile on through this hole with some grout. Okay we've got the check valve installed to the pump. I've tightened up the little clamp. These are called no hubs and these clamps just tighten down on there real tight. You can't pull this pipe apart. But from the pump, the water rises up, comes through the check valve, through the riser, up, and then it's going to turn and go right through that wall. Now we're going to put our lid on. You can see I've already drilled a two inch hole for our inch and a half pipe. It slides right on top. Slides right on top. <laughs> 
much just locks down in place. There we go. Now our pump's ready to be plugged in and we'll pump it out. Okay, here we are on the outside of the cross face wall and the way that we find the spot to drill through, because we want to drill through this face brick first, we want to go this direction because it makes a very clean hole, it usually doesn't shatter too much. But if you remember there was a vent downstairs and in the crawl space, and we counted over one, two, three bricks, and we want to go right through at the end of this brick at this level, and hopefully we are right on the target. Okay, we're ready to use our hammer drill with a two inch core bit to try to get through this uh, brick. pretty quick work of that brick and you can see we've got a nice clean hole if you can see through there and it should line right up with our discharge from the sump pump okay so here we are down in the crawl space and you can see again how I made that measurement if you count over three bricks from the bottom of that vent and drill directly underneath of that that lined up exactly with what we wanted to do. Now we're going to push this piece an inch and a half right through this hole. You can see it slides right through there really nice. Now there's a bush on the outside, so that's as far as I can take it right now. So we're going to go ahead and cut it anywhere right in here. And then we're going to glue this 90 to this discharge, and then we'll go outside and finish the plug. So basically we're just going to cut this pipe off. Clean off our burrs on the end of the pipe. <laughs> and we're just about ready to glue this pipe together. So we'll get our glue out. People ask which one should you glue first. I like to work from the bottom up. So I'm going to glue this bottom of the 90 first. A lot of glue, you can see it kind of dripping out of there, that's fine. Stick it on there. Hold it down tight. Now we're ready to make this connection. This pipe will come to us. All we gotta do is put it together. So let's go ahead and glue this up. I'm gonna go around that outside of this pipe. Good amount of glue. Wiggle it, whatever you gotta do, put it together. And push it tight. See the blue driven out of it, that's what I do. Straighten it up a little bit. Now we're going to go outside and cut it right at the flesh to the wall, put another 90 on it, and come down and we'll pipe it right out. Okay, here on the outside, you can see the pipe coming through the wall. This is the discharge from the sump pump. And we're going to cut this pipe off so we can put a 90 on there to point it down. Good hacksaw makes this job really quick. I suggest that you use a 4 inch hacksaw with a very good blade. Clean off the burrs. And go ahead and set your pieces out, kind of lay it out dry so you can see what you need to do. Right now I'm making the next measurement from the bottom 90 up to the top, cleaning off that piece of PVC. Set your 90 up there just to make a mark so you know how long that piece needs to be. You don't need a tape measure to do this. You can pretty much eyeball it and use your fingers. Again, a good hat good hacksaw makes life really easy. You'll notice that I like to lock the pipe through my legs, it kind of makes it like a vise. That way the pipe doesn't move around as much.
Once again, always dry fit things to make sure they're going to fit properly. And then apply your glue. One more 90 to install there. Line it up, push it together, hold it for a second because that it tends to try to push itself free. That glue is slippery at first, but boy does it set up fast. Finish by hooking on your assembly, and that's done. Now let's go back inside and finish up the. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put some gravel perforated pipe. You can see right here is the footer. That's solid concrete. And we're gonna put it right across the top of that into our pit. And that way any water that collects into this low spot here, uh, as well as the rest of the area, is gonna drain into the pit and be carried away. First thing you do in your pit or in your trench is you put gravel down. nice base of gravel because remember that perforated pipe holds point down. Water floods up into the trench and it's carried away. Nice base of gravel. Lay a base of gravel because water has to flood up. Water can't drop into the pipe. It has to hit the bottom of the trench and be carried upwards through the gravel. Then it goes into the perforated pipe. These holes have to point down. And then we'll cover this with gravel and we'll hook it right over here. It's a great pipe. Remember, the holes, see the holes down there? They point down into the gravel. And then we're going to cover this with gravel. And we're just using bags of gravel that you can go to Lowe's and buy. So as the water comes down through the crawl space, it's going to come into this gravel perforated pipe, go into the pipe, go into the pit, the pump lifts it up and carries it away. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.